Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the symbiotic relationship called mutualism. With mutualism, both organisms involved in the relationship benefit from each other. Let's look at 10 examples to help us understand mutualism. The first example, clownfish and sea anemones. Clownfish are small, brightly colored fish, and they're often found in coral reefs. They also are found in the tentacle of sea anemones, which have stinging cells that can kill other fish. The sea anemone provides protection for the clownfish from predators, and then the clownfish benefits the sea anemones by eating algae and cleaning them up. Next are termites and intestinal flagellates. The flagellates have the ability to digest parts of the wood that the termite eats. So the termite gets help with digestion and the intestinal flagellates get a nice meal. Next, many animals eat the fruit of trees and plants and then they disperse these seeds. The animal benefits from eating and the plant gets benefits from seed dispersals. Humans and other animals breathe out carbon dioxide which plants use for photosynthesis and in return plants give off oxygen that humans and animals use for respiration. Another very common one, bees take in pollen from flowers to make honey from it. The bee spreads the pollen to help the flower in reproduction and then the bees get a nice tasty meal. Next you have the bullhorn acacia and ants nest inside the plant's thorn in exchange for shelter and then the ants protect the acacias from attack by other herbivores. The spider crab and algae. The spider crab likes to hang out in shallow areas. The algae like to live on the back of the spider crab. The algae camouflages the spider crab and the spider crab gives the algae a place to hang out and live. The red-billed oxpecker likes to eat ticks on the back of the impala's coat. It's a cleaning relationship. And finally, one of my favorite is you have the relationship between the pistol shrimp and the goby. They both live in a burrow. The shrimp maintains the and makes the burrow. And then the goby, having better vision then the pistol shrimp alerts the shrimp of danger. They both benefit from each other. One makes the burrow and the other provides lookout and protection. There we go, 10 examples of mutualism. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video.